All right, here we go. Question number 14 from our college algebra homework number one in my lab math. It says let f of x equal negative 4x plus 9 and g of x equal x squared plus 11. They want us to find f of 8 divided by g of 8. That's what they mean. Now over here I've written it as a fraction, but it means the same thing as the slash here. It's divide. And compared to the last few problems we've done in our homework, this is going to be super easy, okay? Barely an inconvenience. All you have to do is take the top piece, the top of the fraction, and we're going to plug 8 into f in for x. So that's going to be negative 4 times 8 plus 9. In the bottom, we're going to plug 8 into the x and g. And that's going to be 8 squared plus 11. And then the last thing you got to do is just pull up your handy dandy calculator. I use the Casio FX991EX Class Wiz. This is a fantastic calculator. It's got the cool fraction button. And we can type this in just the way it looks. Negative 4, 8 plus 9. Move to the bottom. We can do 8 squared. Uh-oh, you're thinking, whoop, I needed the parentheses. We'll just delete it and put parentheses. Actually, I didn't need the parentheses, but if it feels good, do it, okay? Plus 11 equals negative 23 over 75. And just so you know, this particular calculator will give fractions uh, reduced to lowest terms, so you don't have to worry about whether this reduces or not. And if the problem would have asked for a decimal, this button right here, the SD button, will make that a decimal, okay? But it does want a simplified fraction, and so now we're going to see if that's right. I don't know. I feel pretty good about it. Negative 23 over 75. Bam! There it is. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.